So, I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I wanted to dive into today includes a next generation PlayStation project getting fully leaked, a major Sony first party studios update, and an unannounced feature has potentially been revealed in the latest PS5 8.0 beta. First, yes or no, do you think a PlayStation Showcase will still happen this year or not? We still have rumors of a PlayStation Showcase potentially happening in late August, but most are still betting for a September Showcase like they had in 2021 and 2020. But what do you guys think? So comment below, yes or no, if you think we'll have a PlayStation Showcase this year or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, Sony First Party Studios update. Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, Sony has a few big games planned for 2023 like Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Helldivers 2. But according to a recent financial report, it sounds like there were a few more that were planned for 2023 or early 2024, but have been delayed. As spotted by Kotaku's Ethan Gatch, uh, Sony's latest financial report has a section dedicated to the forecast for the rest of the fiscal year, which ends on March 31st. 1st 2024 while decreased spending and increased sales of dlc and third-party games were listed as positives the final bullet points uh point list impact of changes in the launch dates of a portion of first party titles as a negative the report doesn't get into specifics meaning it could be any number of unannounced titles it also specifies that there's more than one when it uses launch dates and titles uh there are a few possible culprits too like the rumor the last of us part 2 ps5 upgrade horizon zero dawn remake or fire sprites twisted metal which given the success of the last of us sony might have wanted to position somewhat around the peacock show there's uh two more mentioned in the article as well that many have spoken about including myself uh this includes uh, the factions to multiplayer i think it was supposed to come out this year but it seems like that's been delayed obviously from earlier reports with what happened with bungie and stellar blade which has a 2023 release date still right now uh we haven't gotten any new information on that so that's probably something that's also been pushed back as well it just sucks to think i could have been playing <laughs> factions to this year uh but hopefully this means finally in 2024 factions returns outside of factions 2 i wonder if these titles were delayed because there's just too much content coming out this fall october is packed and sony still has uh spider-man 2 and hell divers 2 to push out and in early 2024 they have rise of the ronin uh final fantasy 7 rebirth and lost soul aside twisted metal though should have come out this year alongside the show the show is pretty solid from i watched the whole first season it's pretty solid and the game being next to it would have boosted it way more in the conversation and the brand as a whole the twisted metal brand as a whole uh, let's see what the next playstation showcase or state of play uh, gives us in terms of sony part uh, sony first party studios information craven he's here on some kind of now, diving into the second story of the video, new PS5 update 8.0 news. Reading from Twisted Voxel, Sony's PlayStation Stars program will soon be integrated into the PS5 system software based on the latest information. A quick glance at the privacy settings in the PlayStation 5 system menu reveals that the console will soon be receiving PlayStation Stars integration. The menu can be accessed via heading over to the settings, uh, users and accounts, privacy, uh, view and customize your privacy settings settings here you'll find two new options under the heading playstation stars the first option will allow you to control who can see your playstation stars level this setting is limited to players with adult accounts on playstation network and supported regions the second option will let you control who can see your display case your display case is where you can show off your collectibles to other players this uh setting is also limited to players with adult accounts on playstation network in supported regions so so I personally think this is a great way to get more people interested in PlayStation Stars collectibles if you can show them off some way on uh, the PlayStation 5. Someone can go to your profile and can check out the collectibles you've gotten. Maybe you can display that front and center. I personally don't care about PlayStation Star collectibles that much. <laughs> However, this might make it a bit more interesting. But you guys let me know if you have PlayStation Stars or not. Let me know down in the comments below.
And now diving into the final story of the video, next-gen PlayStation Project fully leaks. Reading from Insider Gaming, earlier this week, PlayStation 5's cloud streaming beta officially rolled out to some PlayStation 5 users. And whilst we were only able to gather that the streaming will support up to 4K, Insider Gaming sources have provided us with more information on the streaming architecture. Internally named Project Kronos, previously we reported this as Project Kronos, the new streaming architecture aims to build a robust PlayStation PlayStation 5 streaming experience that will serve as a major step forward in the company's growth in the ever-growing market. It's understood that the PlayStation that the development of Kronos, uh, Kronos began five years ago due to the complexity surrounding the PlayStation 5's SSD. Whilst the SSD is very fast in the PlayStation 5, it created a new challenge that made it possible for Sony to develop the infrastructure needed using current technology on the market, functionality, latency, etc. This meant that Sony under the Future Techno uh, Technology Group designed a completely new network storage solution based on PCIe, which leverages NTB and the PlayStation 5's I.O. coprocessors. The final product is a custom storage server under the codename Cura, which reads up to 5 gigabytes per second with less than 1 millisecond of latency. Sources said that Sony will have a total of 28 data centers across 15 uh, metros for the PlayStation 5 cloud streaming rollout with its uh, plans to fully launch the feature in fiscal 23 between April 2023 and March 2024. So I'm sure some of you have heard about this thing at this point. We spoke about 4K streaming in the last video, but now we have the fully leaked underlying project. It's interesting how much of a priority Sony made SSD technology. For them, it's clearly the next wave to get higher and gaming through high data uh, capacity throughput. More data you can move around faster, the more you can do. For me, uh, as I spoke about on Wednesday's video, the biggest interest is what this means for legacy gaming. They can't keep those PlayStation 3 server blades running forever, and I'm sure Sony wants to take advantage of this new technology that they've made to improve streaming for those PlayStation 3 games as well, meaning this would require emulation. So those run on PlayStation 5, and I assume that's what it's required to run this new technology. And another reminder that the 1080p option for PlayStation 3 games is still there on on the streaming service but it's just not functional which potentially indicates something is yet to happen uh, there or it's just a bug well a bug that's been there for a few months now and still up there to this day but you guys let me know if you're a part of the PlayStation 5 4k streaming beta service right now or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new I got new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday and now I'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is the body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with the weekend is here the weekend is here uh get some gaming in play some video games that's what i'm gonna be doing and i have a friend's birthday as well to attend but of course i'm gonna be gaming still and if you are as well destroy the comment section with the weekend is here and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my video and now I'll check you guys out on the next one and it's deep online network PlayStation 3 continues to be the go-to destination for games and entertainment